Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on a new product. It's holiday season and I got a, uh, a few new toys, so to speak, and I just wanted to go through them and show you some of the stuff I got. So the problem I've been having, I'll just flip it over here and show you, is on my PC, if I can get up here. So when I'm playing like Overwatch and um, in other games, my, my temperature is running really hot. Um, I had a problem with my graphics card, it wasn't getting the right frame rate, I was only getting like, you know, 10 to 20 frames per second. So right now you can probably see that, if I can zoom in here, I'm running about 34 degrees uh, Celsius, and when I play games, I'm actually running at uh, 50 to 60 degrees, which is killing me. So um, what I've done is I ordered a new heat sink because I have the original heat sink on here. I will show you. Went ahead and took off my case here. So in here, I've got my um, heat sink running. This is the factory heat sink that came with my um, my uh, AMD 8350 uh, black chip. So really nice processor. That thing does amazing, especially with video editing. That's one of the better processors. It's going to beat out uh, more times than not. It's going to beat out like an i7, um, one of those 63, whatever it is. Um, from what I've researched, you know, I've got, it's about 5 out of 5 stars pretty much across the board, or 4.8 out of 5 stars across the board. Um, but problem is, this thing doesn't, the negative to it is it's not allowing for me to have the correct temperature. So the problem I'm running into is on your i7s, those things will allow you to run up to, I think it's 70, 72 degrees, something like that. And my processor only lets you go up to 61, max 62 degrees. Problem. <laughs> I'm getting too hot inside of this case. I've got fans in the front, fans in the back, I've got fans blowing out, and I've got my uh, my my uh, GTX 960 they're running but it's just not it's not cutting it I've opened the case that'll cool it down a little bit but I'm getting to the point where the PC just hard boots down it goes blue screen just dies on me and I can't do it I mean I get about an hour two hours into the game which is fine but it's starting to get annoying so what I did is I got a new egg order I'm doing this video because I'm too excited so what I bought, you know me, you don't know me, is the Hyper 212 Evo, EVO, whatever you want to call it. So this sucker is <laughs> huge. I didn't think it was as big. Wow. Okay. So um, I'll just read you here what we've got: four direct contact heat pipes for a seamless contact between CPU and cooler, upgradable to a second fan with quick. What is that snap fan bracket wide range fan with unique blade design and versatile all-in-one mounting solution for Intel and AMD sockets so this will pretty much fit just about every every system that you've got if you got your standard ATX case um, yeah I know this case is just it's not great it's a cheap it's a cheapo I've had it for years I should upgrade and my Moyers are a mess, I agree. I just don't care. <laughs> you know, I just want to play the games. I want them to be good, I want it to look good, and I just want it to play. I want to get at least 50 frames per second. And now that I've fixed the graphics drivers, I'm getting about 60 to 70 frames per second, which is incredible and I love it because, oh my gosh, I went from doing 10 to 12 kills average a game on Overwatch, I'm playing D.Va is my favorite, um, now I'm getting 25 is my new average and probably every third or fourth game I'm getting about 40 plus kills so uh, I didn't level up a whole lot I just got the frame rate better now I can actually see there's no lag there's no there's no issues the only problem I'm having is boom heart shuts off in the middle of the game and I lost that's what sucks so we're gonna open this guy up here What it comes with is, looks like they've got tons of, oh, oh sweet, it comes with the actual, uh, with the, um, the putty. 
you've got the mammoth. Holy sugar! <laughs> Holy crap! This thing is huge! Oh my lord, I don't... I don't know if this thing's gonna fit in there. Okay, when they show you the pictures online, it does not do justice. This thing is massive. And I love it. It's every little bit. I think this is going to do it for me. Wow. So you can get other ones that have little LEDs in them. I, you know what, guys? I'm not into showing off my PC too much. I think next year or the year after, I might start doing one of those builds where you get the you know the LEDs and all that crap you know I've got the 960 so I can play some really good games I've got um, the 8350 so I can do some good video editing it's got up to eight cores I think it says uh, technically I bet you it's only six but it says eight um, I've got the 600M which is a 600 watt power supply by Corsair I've got 16 gigs of RAM I actually researched this RAM I'll try to put you a link in here um, this is has the lowest latency that I found at the frequency that I'm at But other than that, I mean this thing's running smooth. I've got Windows 10 running. I have had zero problems with this bad boy And I've had this PC for about a year. Actually, it's coming up to two years now. I can stream with it I can um, I can play games with it. I can do just about anything, you know overwatch I think you can even go to higher ultra settings and no problems I think my next step is I might go to a 1060 graphics card, but we'll see. Anyways, we'll show you some heat sinks and some uh, different features, and I'll let you know what we think or what I think of this uh, this new fan. So far, I'm loving it. It's looking great. Wish me luck. Okay, guys, uh, we got the master cooler in um, Hyper 212 Evo. It was, it was a little bit of a problem. Um, let me show you. This was my old unit. It was the factory, the stock uh, CPU cooler. <laughs> Tiny little fan. This, you see how tall this box is? Or better yet, you see the inside of this? This was how much taller. It's almost double the size of my previous one. I thought this was huge. <laughs> Man, I haven't seen it. I, I ordered it thinking, you know, there's no way it can be too big. It's too big to fit in my case. I've got the mid-ATX case. I even went to a couple stores after and checked to see if they had any, um, any full-size ATX cases, but they're not wide enough. Um, I measured close to eight inches wide between the case to case because the inside there's about an inch where there's usually a metal backing plate where the, the motherboard goes on to. And um, the, uh, the, the motherboard's on and then from there, so it's about seven, seven and a half inches in the inside that you need about width for that fan not to hit the side of the case. Let me show you what we did. <laughs> All right, so this case is cheap. I don't give a crud about it. It's worthless to me. Um, I think it's a $40 case I bought like three years ago. Probably in a year or so, um, you know, if you follow me on this channel, you're going to see me upgrade. I'm going to be doing um, a really high-end video editing and gaming PC because I do a lot of YouTube channels besides this one. Anyways, let me show you what we got. So here, you can see we cut out the side of my uh, my case and you can see it's just your standard you know nothing special run-of-the-mill ATX case or mid ATX I think you could call it and we got some good old-fashioned duct tape now did I need to duct tape it no but just for jokes and fun I think uh, with my friends I said you know what if there's anything I'm gonna do I'm gonna duct tape it and then probably what we'll do um, later on is I'm going to get like a little bit of plexiglass and I'm going to cut it out to the inside of it and I'm going to glue it on the inside and then edge it out so it actually sits flush. And I'll put a little trim panel around it. It'll probably cost me 10, 15 bucks um, just for fun. It's fun to do. Now in the future you can add a secondary fan. You can purchase it separately that goes on the back. 
after talking to some of the guys at the local store, they said um, these actually were, I don't know if they was on purpose, but the cases surprisingly cooler master they make cases specifically for these larger fans so if you need a case cooler master i'll show you some because i'm going to look up a couple i might end up upgrading later on before it's uh before i upgrade the pc so hope you enjoyed it this was my unboxing oh oh i almost forgot to tell you <laughs> oh this is over cool okay check this out so we got this thing in right you're gonna love this I'm running at 32 degrees, and that's hot right now because this room's warmer. I was running somewhere between 18 and 25 degrees with this thing. Okay, when um, my normal my normal run time was um, was what was it? It was 35 degrees, just idle. And then when I started playing games, it would hit 55 to 58 degrees. And then once it hit 60, I kind of I had to watch it while playing games because it would freeze my game up. And then 61, that's it. The computer would shut down. I think 62 is the max that the processor can handle um, for AMD anyways, the 8350. Intel's you're going to get an extra 10 degrees-ish better, so don't have to worry too much about that. Um, the... Runtime, I ran it for about an hour and a half on Overwatch, and I, I ran it hard. I maxed out. I was hitting 38 degrees. I think the highest I hit um, was 40 degrees. So it might have hit, I don't think it went above 40, which is awesome because I am now not worried about my computer shutting down. I'm good to go. The Cooler Master, you did it. Love it. Anyways, hope that helps, guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more of these or if you have a specific product that you have questions about, I might have researched it. I'll let you know what I think. Um, we'll see you on the flip side.